up for January in 2021. I can't believe it. It's here. Hopefully it's a better year. So I have changed my setup a little bit for this year. If you've watched my setup video for this journal, you'll see that I said I was trying to put everything in one journal. So I know a lot of people spread the year across too, but I don't want to do that if I can help it. So I've had to condense things because I did my maths a bit wrong when I bought this journal and didn't actually have enough pages, so I've cut some out. So instead of having a title page and a quote page, then they're all the same page. Um, we're gonna try it. I mean, worst comes to the worst. If January doesn't work, I'll spread it out for the next ones and then I'll just have to start a second journal halfway through the year like everybody else. But we'll see. So I have decided for January I'm going to go with snowdrops as a theme. So they're little pretty flowers. I assume other countries have them outside of the UK, I'm not sure. But snowdrops, they're pretty, they're white. And instead of colour, I've gone with dot work to fill them in. So they're not solid dot work obviously outlined in pen and then I'm just using dots to add shading and some definition I quite like it um, and then I also like this month's quote obviously I've already done it but trust in the magic of new beginnings because it's a new year and hopefully it's gonna be magic <laughs> so opposite my title quote page is my monthly kind of overview spread because I am condensing this is now on one page instead of two so that is also why I've done it sideways because vertically I have not got enough space to do all of the days of a month and have it done the way I do this so it's laid out Monday to Sunday so I can see where the weeks are at a glance we're gonna try it like I say we'll see how it goes if this month it doesn't work I'll change it back to how I used to do it next month We'll see, we'll try. Uh, you know, what else is there to do but try new things? And I think that's the beauty of these journals. We can try new things, try new ways of doing it, and see how it goes. But I've really enjoyed drawing these little snowdrops. I quite like doing dot work when I'm not having to do it all the time because it's quite a, a fun way of doing art, and I quite like building my dots up to see a picture in there. So habit tracker, also sideways, because otherwise I cannot get it in. I think that's going to be a theme in this journal, doing things sideways. So one other thing I realised when I bought this journal, because it is a different one to the one I used last year, because last year's the paper was a little bit too thin, you could see even my fine line is through from the other side, so I bought a thicker weight paper. However, the dots are spaced further apart so it, they're bigger it's a bigger grid so it does mean I can get less on a page this time which is it's a positive and a negative I mean I quite like having the bigger dot spacings but then it's also irritating because I used to be able to get three of the habit tracker boxes when the book was the right way up instead of horizontal which now isn't going to happen. But we'll try it, we'll see what happens. I'm gonna keep saying what I think. So the habit tracker is much the same, it's just horizontal now. And this is my expenses tracker, which in all honesty hasn't changed one bit. Still the same. So I've, like I say, I've done away with things so I no longer have a notes page or an ideas page because I don't think I ever really use it properly. Um, obviously this month, well this week, I have done, instead of doing the 1st, 2nd, 3rd of January on the own spread and using up an extra page for three days, I've added them in that top box at the top and then there's a box for each other day. So depending on how I do these weekly setups, that spare bit of space where the one, two, three is, or at the bottom, wherever I put it, will be for notes, I think, from now on. Because like I say, I mean, I, I had a page for ideas, for things that I'm gonna draw or make for my Etsy store, and then a page for notes, 
and I'd either use one or the other or neither of them really and I'd just make notes in the notes section that I would do on my weekly spreads instead. So I've done away with it completely, you can always add it back if it doesn't work. Um, but if it does, then it saves me a lot more space. And it's a slightly different setup. I mean, I know I've done these boxes before where I stagger them, but normally I draw pictures with the boxes, and so this time I've sort of, for this weekly spread, dotted them around instead, because why not? Let's do something different. Let's try something new. And the next weekly spread on the next page, when I get to it, is slightly different. So in this video, I know I often do the whole month's worth of weekly spreads, but I haven't finished deciding how I want to do weekly spreads. So I've done the first week this way and the second week in different ways, you'll see shortly. And I'm going to see which I like and then I'll finish off weeks three and four at a later date when I decide if I like either of these ways or if I don't. Um, so you can see here setting it up differently, similar fonting but a different layout. So you can see on the first one I coloured first and did the text and then I realised I needed to rub out the line that went around the box to then colour it in and if I'd already coloured it in I then couldn't do that so I uh, did the rest of them the proper way and it's just Mondays that's not done like that so it still has some pencil lines but it could be worse and then I've got my little snowdrop in the corner um, it's quite a big snowdrop, but that where that is drawn will potentially be my note-taking space if needed. I may rejig it again and do a slightly different weekly layout again if I think this one doesn't work. But anyway, this is January, so I hope maybe it's inspired some of you to try some dot work, and I hope you enjoy my flip through.